well, just give me one second to catch my breath. We've just been doing a little running. It's the end of the evening. Usually I start at the beginning of the day, but today I'm starting at the end of the day because we've had a busy morning out in town getting stuff for little baby Arthur. And you know, then there's this work business that has to be done. And Farmer John's been busy doing everything this afternoon with the animals in the feed. And here we are, the end of the day. No beautiful sunset today, but still a beautiful evening. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, oh, you're gonna get used to me saying, oh, I hate it when it goes blurry like that. Whew, catching my breath. But it happened again, okay. Because it, it tries to auto-correct zoom based on what it thinks it wants to focus on. It gets confused, clearly. Anyway, this is really exciting. This was an empty paddock. And Farmer John, along with the help of a guy who has come to us, um, his name's Graham, he's wonderful, and he has a whole digging machine. It's amazing because this area that we haven't really talked about is going to be four, whoop, four horse yards. So this area here, we've got some horses coming. Some horses that need a home and they need safety. And we have said, well, they can come here. So in the meantime, we're building, there's two mini horses coming and they've got these two assigned areas. I'm gonna have to walk a little bit faster so I don't bore everyone to death and lose everyone. And I know Barbara, I'm not gonna lose you. You've said that enough times, which is lovely. So that's great, <laughs> good to know. That, and I know my mum's probably watching. So, down here. This is the laneway that's gonna go between those two paddocks. This is going to be called Harley's Place. This is in memory of Harley, the horse who passed away. This was his paddock, and this will forever be his place. So that's lovely. Um, and then over here, we've got another yard area. So this is gonna be the extension of Jackie's Lane. As you know, that goes up along the sheep paddock it's going to go all the way up to the fence sign and then it's also going to come across as a T here where Farmer John is driving down. So there's going to be a lot of trees planted along here which is going to throw shade into the pig paddock which is wonderful because everybody needs more shade. Are you going to come for the tour? No, I'm busy. Oh he's busy, he's got to map out more holes. So we've got all our uh, concrete, like um, recycled concrete mix. And I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I, there's a lot of posts, but anyway, that's one area. There's a gate somewhere, I forget. And then another area, so we've got two, one, two bigger yards. They're gonna have shelters. And then you've got the two little ones for the two little horses. So two big horses, two little horses. And then down the end here, I'll try and walk a little bit faster. I'm gonna do an update on the batch pad too. To, today's just about update on cool shit that's happening on the farm Doo -doo -doo. um this is the hospital yards which we've been meaning to do since before charles came here because he's laminitic and you know we don't want him to founder on us so you know it's like diabetes they get sick and it's really bad they can die it's awful stuff so this is it's really hard to see depth wise from here but there's going to be two separate horse yard, uh, hospital yards area, and there'll be a gate in between. So if ever there's a need for more space for an extended period of time, whatever, and there'll be a little bit of shelter in there. <clears throat> this will be the end of Jackie's Lane. Well, for now, anyway. And this is where the horses will be. Um, there's also a fence down there that leads into the cow paddock. So we're going to remove that fence. And then the cows and the horses will have this whole, it's around about 10 acres. So all down there and all up here will be uh, the four horses that currently live here and the cows that currently live here and the, whatever cows are coming, because cows are coming. It's always animals coming. Anyway, so there'll be a gate here and then I'll put you on hold for a sec and I'll run up. So this is the back of the um, horse yards. Now th at the moment, this is a bit of a, a little dip. And as you can see, it's got Bathurst burr weeds all along it, which are horrible, horrible things. So we're going to have to dig them all out. But 
Um, in the meantime, so there'll be a gate here so that we can restrict access as we need to. But what we'd like is for the horses to have this area to run down here so they can run down and around there uh, because it gives them more mental stimulation and also because they'll be coming along here to say hello to the other horses. It's going to give them more friendship, entertain them, you know, all that good stuff. So, yeah, um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, I mean, that's where we're at at the moment. The hole should be dug, finished being dug by next Wednesday when the guy's coming back with his machine, the magic machine. Anyway, oh, yeah, come back. Just on our way out and I thought I'd stop and say a quick hello to Honey because she's very beautiful, aren't you, Honey? You're so beautiful. She's so lovely. She had all these silly, horrible bathers burrs in her hair. Managed to get them all out the other day. You're a lovely girl, honey. I'll see you in a bit. Hi, Lucy. This is pretty funny. So we've got little Lucy on the outside. And normally she is accompanied by Minnie and Jimmy because they're very shy sheep and don't usually like dive in when it comes to feed time. But we have... Oh, look who's this, everybody. Say hello. They're all in their pen area. And we've got to go let them out now. Oh. Just like me. Hi guys. Yeah, it just gives Lucy a chance to actually eat without ending up in the trough. And I'm not joking about that. It happened. Hi guys. Hi Jim Jim. Hi Lady Violet. Hi Lulu. It is so hard to imagine these guys as baby lambs only one year ago hi lenny hello lenny hello handsome hi lulu go there's her there's hay was... yeah look at that they did actually have a bale of oat and hay out there which they have decided they're not a huge fan of they much prefer teff hay which we've got for the horses but anyway hi lenny so we ended up giving you a new beautiful boy. We ended up giving them a bale of the teff. We often do. They really like it. Yeah, it's good stuff, isn't it? Beautiful boy. Lenny was, actually it's been less than a year since Lenny came here, but he was so little. You know, I did a video on TikTok recently where he was just a baby drinking out of his bottle. Go Lenny, go join the others. And of course we have the beautiful Esme. Now she did actually come here a year ago. She was the first of the crew that started it all last year. It was Esme and then Frank, who was our first orphan. Hi Lucy. Lucy's just so sweet. She cries just like a baby. Mom! You can hear her probably about three farms away. Whenever she's like, I think you need to feed us again. Yeah. Hi Ezzy. Hey, beautiful. And, oh, no, here we have Jade Bug. Hey, Jade. Look at those beautiful eyes. She's so pretty. You're so pretty, Jade. And there's, there's Jimmy's bum and Minnie's bum. It's amazing how they can get so chunky off just eating grass. I mean, these guys eat them more than just grass, but for ages, um, well, Minnie and Jimmy had the paddock with the lucerne, which is very high in sugar. And uh, yeah, that was flooded. Anyway, I must move on. This is always a cool little um, greeting when you come in here. We've got Tash, Sultana, and we have the three big turkeys, Matt, Gary, and George, who are endlessly entertained by the little Muppets in here and now by Cooking Noodle. Anyway, so I actually did do a little reel on Facebook wanting to thank everyone so much for um, supporting us to get the batch pad upgrade completed. And um, yeah, it uh, only let me film for 90 seconds, so I kind of got that side. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys in here. So yeah, Sea Lake crew. Obviously the, the silkies that came from Sea Lake. No, Chet, you can't go out. Come back. Shut this behind me. Oops. All right, hi guys. If you follow me, I'll give you some food. Anyway, so we now have the, this is the babysitter club in here. Hi Noodle, we did actually have Vanya and Oli Alyosha in here, but 
they fly out. Whoop. So now they're back with the, with the duck and goose gang and we're gonna have to put netting on top to stop that from happening because the other two actually followed them out last night. But yeah, they've got a much wider area over here and then we'll go and meet the silkies and co. So these are the, whoa, guys, yeah, hang on. All right, go get your food, got the bucket. This, I can't get through. Excuse me, Didiri. No, Didiri, you've got to move, okay? Excuse me, no, 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 no. Okay. So, <laughs> these boys, these silkies, and Kevin and Randall. <laughs> Kevin and Randall are actually our true OG, meaning our original gangsters. They were with us, we picked them up the day before we moved to the farm, because uh, they needed a home, they were quite young. Now they're strapping lads, aren't you boys? Look at you. Anyway, this, this area here and the one next door are the biggest improvements because they were the smallest areas. And also this area had netting above it because these two boys are like a game bird cross and they can just fly wherever they want. But now that the house is further away from the fence line, we're, we're pretty confident they'll be okay. Hello, Adrian. These guys are very happy. Hello, Clubber. Apollo, hey. I always get so pleased with myself when I get their names right. I do get them mixed up a little bit. But this is the extra space all around here. Oh, and look at this. There's all this green stuff. And all the way over to here. Same with the boys over here. I couldn't actually um, go in and film with these boys because this is where Derek the rooster who wants to kill me lives. Oh, hello Red. He's a lovely one. Branson's a lovely boy. Hicks can be nice, but naughty and nice actually. And Derek just playing up mean. Anyway, so with the uh, funding that came through in the end for this extension, it's allowed us to do irrigation in here as well. So at the moment, we're actually dragging a hose with an, ex like a, a, an extended hose. Over gates, under gates, it gets kinked. It's annoying, you know, to fill up everyone's water. And now, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a tap set up in each area uh, so that we can fill up their water directly in each spot. It's gonna be fantastic. So we've got the stuff, just need Farmer John to find the time. <laughs> There's a lot of competing priorities. Isn't there, boys? Hi, Adrian. Kevin really likes the camera, don't you, Kev? Yeah, anyway, I think that it will wrap it up. What do you reckon, Clubber? Yeah. All right, bye guys.